Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the December meeting at Wedmore Parish Council. Um, to begin the meeting, I must remind everyone in attendance and who will be participating in the meeting that following recent government legislation, this meeting may be filmed, recorded, and photographed or otherwise. Um, and as before, this meeting is being filmed and recorded by the parishioner. Okay. So, first of all, we receive any apologies for us. Madam Chair, any apologies from uh, Lindsay Craig, Richard Kilburn, Andrew Nash, and Diana Bayless, who have also asked me to pass on Christmas greetings so earlier. Okay, thank you. Uh, Richard Burton said he was coming and then disappearing early, but he hasn't turned up yet, so. Alright then. Um, well, it's a good job we've got David. Let's all hear that part. Well, I can hear somebody. Uh, can you believe it? <coughs> it's set. Uh, no, it's not oh, going out. There we are. Something okay. We're, we're on. We're on remote control. Yeah. Yeah. Went more than movie. Um, right, okay. Um, so. Um, Firstly, I, 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 an observation really, which came up at the parish council meeting as I was at last night. You, you've got parish council election session next year, haven't you? Yeah. Do you advertise that fact locally? Yeah. Well, near the time. Oh, okay. Okay, that's, no, that's fine because they, you know, they said well, everybody they met, they, they were a bit short of parishioners, you know, kind of to stand, and um, I, I know we all are really. Um, but they said, you know, they, they, everybody understands there's a generation, everybody understands there's district level, but they tend to forget about the poor parish council. So I, I just sort of brought, I'm sure, I knew you'd have it in hand, but, um, <laughs> but there we are. Um, so, um, news from the county council. Um, the, uh, uh, we, we, well, the usual sort of budget setting process. Uh, I, can, I can tell you the very good news is the capital programme, which is the first part of my two pronged budget setting process. Passed through scrutiny yesterday with, with no um, no opposition uh, comments. Uh, basically, because it's a good news story, and I thought I'd bring it to you because uh, you, you're reading the press about what rotten people we are, keep cutting money. Um, I, I, and I understand it's a difficult concept for people to understand why we could be cutting money in one section and spending a lot in others. But it, it, you know, we, the, 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 it, that is essentially the difference between capital and revenue. The revenue is day to day, capital is long term investment. So we have a capital programme this year, uh, go, sorry, we've agreed for next year for £53 million, pounds, uh, which is uh, £11 million pounds more than we did last year. Uh, and a big chunk of that extra spending is to uh, modify our A block, as opposed to those of you who don't know, A block is the bit that you would recognise as the county council. Um, I, I, I have been trying for a very long time to persuade my colleagues that we don't need it anymore, but I have been uh, persuaded now uh, mm -hmm. that we need to spend money on it uh, to renovate it because it's, it's practically empty. We, can, we have three principal buildings at County Hall. We have A Block, B Block and C Block's the Tower Block. Uh, a and C Block's are virtually empty now. We could accommodate now all our staff in B Block, which is the little squat unattractive one in the middle. Um, so we are going to spend a chunk of money modifying a block to um, complete our um, aspiration to co-locate with all our district councillors, all our district councillors. So this is the last bit of the jigsaw. In all the other parts of the county, we have moved as a county council, we've moved most of our back office functions in with the district councils. So we've done it in, we've done it in Willerton, we've done it in, 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 in um, uh, in the Bridgewater, which is one of the first ones. We've done it recently in Mendit. We're just about to finish doing it in South Somerset, which was <laughs> you know, quite, a, quite a struggle for us. Um, uh, but now uh, we, we didn't want to move, or Taunton Dean didn't wish us to move in with them at, uh, at Taunton Dean, and obviously it's our county town, um, because they wished to realise a big capital asset from there. I don't know, is it built in the 70s or 80s? It's not a very nice building. And um, uh, it, it wasn't really fit for purpose, I think, when they built it, to be fair. So they're coming to move into A Block, uh, and we're also building a new uh, Taunton Library at A Block. So uh, we take the opportunity to, um, again, things go in full circles, don't we? We, we? Our relatively new new library in Taunton was an old Sainsbury's. When Sainsbury's decided that they didn't need small <coughs> like, uh, supermarkets in towns and wanted to move to big stuff, uh, and now the world has gone full circle and they all want to come back into town. So uh, we're sort of uh, going to 
run that out. So, so, um, so that's pretty good news. And, and the total capital program, so the live capital program is £430 million. Pounds. And you've also seen um, recently government announcements giving us um, money to duel the uh, 303, uh, for those of you who use it, and more importantly to us, the 358 to Junction 25. Um, <coughs> And this, at this point, I would normally say to the press, I wouldn't want you to admit this, but I suppose I could. No. Um, the, um, rather surprisingly, the government hadn't asked us for any contributions, mm. which was, a, as we would say, the right result, I think. Uh, so it's a considerable challenge. I mean, that's not to say they might not do it in the past, but most of these major infrastructure schemes, we're at least asked usually to pick up the design costs, which run into several millions of pounds. So that's been a, a, a real thing, a real good news story for Somerset. Um, and I think the PME to the next big news story from government or whatever is probably going to be, I think the next crucial date is the end of March for Hinkley. Um, I mean, Hinkley have got some massive pieces of kit work in there, so I can't see it not happening, but I think they haven't still made the official <coughs> announcement that it will. Um, so I've, I've, I've done a bit of domestic stuff with a couple of the Paris cancers, but I'm quite happy to uh, take any questions that might arise. Questions for David? Okay. Thank you, David. Have you finished with me? Yeah. Well, in which case, I'll wish you a Merry Christmas. Thank you. And see you in the new year. Um, and now you've got district council to talk to you, you'll be fine. <laughs> 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 Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very much, David. Well, thank you. And thank you for all your help and support. So, um, yeah, we, we, we're, a, we're, a, we're a generally a happy bunch, I think. Mm. Um, I, I do find this sort of thing a little, not for me personally, but I can understand if it, if it became... Um, Endemic, should we say? I, I think you find even less people who want to stand as parish councillors. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's the big worry I've got. I don't, I don't worry about what I say in public, but I, you know, I know other people might do. So there we are. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Madam Chair, before we go any further, the camera's rolling, but no one's ever got it. Um, mm -hmm. should, you should see me know what has been filmed. Well, the rules say that it can be recorded. The meeting can be recorded. And you can't actually, you can't do anything. The meeting can be recorded. We'll just leave it there. Um, Richard, have you got anything that you'd like to say? Um, oh, very briefly, we've been working a fair bit with the Environment Agency on this sort of uh, sequential flood relief if there are problems coming up there is actually a plan. So, so far so good. It's uh, a public document in what will be done if this floods then that will be relieved and that will go down there if that floods and so on and so forth until it all comes out of mm -hmm. you know, where they've got some nice bases for a lot of pumps. Mm -hmm. okay. We will see. Thank you. Now, can I ask Richard a moment? Richard, when you're on this committee, please can you make sure the money that the district councils, if this becomes law, that all the sudden said, I've got to pay, that the money that it should be paid to a, the EA is also made sure the EA pass it to the drainage boards, because the drainage boards are going to have to do a lot of the work, and the members of the parrot expect that it especially are worried that the money will not come. Fair enough, yes. So you I, know I what I mean? That the subject has been raised. We haven't yeah. had a definitive answer yet. No, that's what I, that's what I want to warn you, because there is murmurs on the pallet. Major worries about it. Yeah, I can understand that. Everyone wants money, there's not money. Yeah. Because uh, whether you know members here, Sedgemore pay nearly... £1.3 million pounds a year to the Internal Drainage Board, out of your rates and that. And we have to pass on £800,000 of that straight to the EA. Now that is what they're supposed to be looking after the rivers with. And we're not, we're very worried about the money of the power of the mm -hmm. okay. Any more questions for Richard?
Moving on to uh, 14 12, 3 to record any declarations of interest. 14 12, 4, minutes of the meeting held on the 19th of November. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody is happy that I signed these minutes? Yeah. Why have I signed these? Matters are rising. Matters are rising. Uh, thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, I did write to Dr. Tim Norman following the last month's meeting and thanked him for the excellent exhibition which was put on at the Village Hall. Um, Mudgley Road, I also contacted the Highways Department about the number of accidents that have happened up there in the last few months. Um, that was brought up by Councillor Neil Ellis. And they came back and said if we could be a bit more specific on various locations where we were thinking of putting warning signs and shareholders or whatever, they would have a serious look at it. I've now today got some photographs from Councillor Ellis and I'll be looking at them. Can I just say, uh, it's not quite Mudgley Road, but I'm assuming it's accident last night. Obviously, on my way down to um, Yeovil, yeah. Mudgley Hill, Bromish, yeah, 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 somewhere between there, because the literally much the crossway to the left or right mm -hmm. in the shelf, bottom of the hill. Yeah. So I'm not actually sure what I'm measuring here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll have a look at the photo. I'll send those on the highways department about it. Yeah. Um, the audio recording equipment, I'm still looking at the uh, cost of this. I've got a local supplier we get our stationery from. They're about uh, £160. I'm trying to get something I can download from the machine into a computer. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know all the old dictaphone things, which yeah. I have a tape that's round around, which is yeah. useless really. But we need something to download onto a computer. Mm -hmm. um, but it's about 160, less than 200 pounds anyway, I think. But I've just went for one more quote on that. The Blackford Brook and Drains was brought up at the last meeting. Well, yeah. Yeah. The Brook, maybe. Yeah. Now, I've noticed that the, the rep towards Council Tilly's place during the uh, Training sections along there recently, and they've been doing the sumps uh, in Blackford. But I know no more than that, it's only what I've seen my own eyes. I saw two work crews out there working by your place. Yeah, they've done, uh, I thought it looked like quite a good job. Yeah, they've, they've done all the escape things on the yeah. Blackford road. I don't know about Snipefield. I think some of that, um, they cut the hedges back, you know, it, it looks quite clean in the gullies, so they're all concrete, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They look quite but clean, they, yeah. the road, but they have done nothing to the brook from the church down no, to the no, no. ship and ring. Oh, I did, yeah. did ask yeah. about this, I don't know, I asked Rich Carroll about this, mm -hmm. and apparently the drain contractor has issues with his um, tractor driver. Um, there's been a death in the family, so it will be very soon. It's at the top of his list. We'll actually keep an eye on the black for yeah. yeah. no, I did ask about... Snipefield Road and Mark and what have you. It is a highway's responsibility. Obviously, a farmer is supposed to go along and clear up after himself. Yeah. You will have to badger and badger and badger to get them to do anything, but they will eventually do something. Mm. They're just not very keen to do it. Right. Mm. Okay, thank you. That's what I'll do. I'll work with them and have to do it. Was there any? Well, I should mention, mm -hmm. sorry, one other thing, to beg pardon, the street lamp at Mudgley. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about the road safety yeah. concerns up there. I did write back to the gentleman who suggested putting another road lamp. I've been putting out the, the point of cost, and I've heard nothing more since from him. That was over a, a month ago now. So I've just been put that one to bed. Okay, thank you. <coughs> uh, 1426 is financial matters. Yeah, they've been the books balance. And I'll two people sign the checks, please. Okay. <coughs> minutes of the meeting of the Finance and General Purposes Committee that we held on the 3rd of December. Well, I've certainly only some minutes with the agenda for this meeting. Um, a couple of alterations on the back page of the last one, seven from which we've done today, so I've recirculated that so you can look at it as well. Um, Ash Banks will run us through that in just a moment. And I'm hoping we can bring the budget and the precept for next year. Okay. Ash, could you? Yeah, of course. Many thanks. Um, all I'm going to do is really just outline some of the committee's thinking behind the numbers that we've seen there. I promise it will be fairly quick. Um, really three things I think in the thinking. Firstly, uh, given the constrained current financial climate, the committee wanted to try and maintain the precepts at its existing level. 
Secondly, if a parish council decides to go ahead with the refurbishment of the public conveniences, we would need to therefore afford that exceptional one-off cost in 2015-16. We haven't yet made that decision, but we will soon have to. But you've got a figure in for it. Right? There yeah. is something put into the budget yeah. for it. Yeah. Um, like the item there shows quite an amount that covers the capital cost of doing the refurbishment plus the operational cost of running the, the toilet. Thirdly, recognising the coming year will be financially challenging for them, the committee wanted to maintain as much as it can the level of the parish council support for local amenities. One already identified by ourselves is the resurfacing of the allotment scout star park. And we also wish to maintain a level of the parish council support for local projects. Again, one such example could be the anticipated playing fields for million, three quarters of a million project. Uh, when the playing fields committee, in order to with grants and funds from, I think they've identified 26 sources, would firstly need to demonstrate that they have the support and contribution from their own parish council. So in order to achieve all of this, the committee proposes that £23,000 is transferred out of current reserves and is shown as an income stream in the 2015-16 budget. Self have confirmed that this can be done, and the committee feels it is in fact more transparent this way and easier to order. Left in the reserves will be the salt recommended level of contingency reserves, which for Wedmore is about £25,000. <coughs> there will then be a reduced balance left in the reserves of some £12,000 which may or may not be used in 2016 for as yet unidentified local projects. It should be borne in mind, I think, that it is very unlikely, although it is not yet confirmed, that we will be receiving any grants from the Secretary Council in 2015-16, which hitherto, as you know, have been used to help support local amenities such as the village halls. The committee thus proposes a balanced budget, give or take £30 for 2015-16. And the committee's recommendation is that the Parish Council free set for 2015-16 remains at £62,000. Questions? Um, I only say it not with any pro or against, but Sedgemore will be putting up its budget. <laughs> by a small amount this year, so if we felt Sorry, um, Sedgemore will be putting up its council tax this coming year, so if we felt that it might help, but perhaps shouldn't be shy, but then on the yeah. other hand, it's quite useful to go and say, yeah. well, we haven't put our degree mm. set up. I think again, it's the timing, I think the budget has to be put in. Yeah, no, Usually no, prior no. to the fact that we receive confirmation yeah. from the session. That's why it's been done the way it um, If we do get some from the session, well, then there'll be a little left more in the reserve. Mm. Um, I think we've had an adequate reserves left. Yeah. yeah, it looks good. Thank you. But the reserves won't last for long. Well, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Which is really why I've tried to put that down in the notes in the minutes. We might be left with a small balance of two or three grand at the end of next year. That's getting a bit tight. Mm -hmm. Which is getting tight, considering you know, we've got things like the car park in 10 or 15 years, £50,000 probably. So we should really be looking at 3000 a year, perhaps, to put aside for that. Mm -hmm. Again, it's taxpayers' money, so you don't want to sit on it. It's, it's a difficult. Why which way to do it? Any more questions? Can we have a proposal? It's an order. Oh, sorry. I'll propose it, Madam Chair. I'm not on the committee. Okay. 
and a second there. I personally think it's better to keep it where it is. Mm. Mm-hmm. And if we have to raise it for something, it won't look so big. If we lowered it, then have to raise it suddenly, we would get a nice crowd. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. so. okay, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm concerned about this unmanned camera here for not only safety reasons as well, but if there's a damage done to it or later on we mm-hmm. discover that something's been done to it, we could be in all sorts of trouble looking after it. Yeah. Or what could be made when this trip comes back? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not telling yeah. you what to do, but I just feel it's a valid point and it uh, yeah. protects everybody. Mm-hmm. That's what we need a camera on the camera. I'm just to set it up and leave it running mm-hmm. and then disappear from where yeah. it could be. I don't think it's, uh, it's yeah. appropriate. I suggest that the small paragraph goes in a minute. Mm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Uh, Fourteen twenty one. Eight to receive an update from the chair of the council committee on affordable housing schemes. There's nothing much more going on on affordable housing. I did have an email from Andrew Preston. It was just a sentence. He has said that he's received the high raise access appears to be fine, although he's awaiting confirmation from county high raise. He agrees that there is no reason for them to object when, as we are providing a visibility that they have requested. And that's all he's basically worth. So that's basically something on the high raise issue at the top of pretty much right. Okay. Okay. <coughs> That's all I have. Thank you. Uh, Fourteen twelve nine to consider flood prevention issues within the parish. Just show this start. I put this on here as a result of an email from Mr. Riffin. I'm sorry he's not here. Um, it came in on the 13th of November. He was talking about the drainage system opposite where he lives and the sump around the corner of the general road, which frequently gets blocked, as we know. And he says if you suggested we accept a team of volunteers to keep the well, clean, although he points out he does keep it checked himself for any remedy. I have said to him it's a central responsibility ultimately, which it is. Yeah. No doubt about that. But they're not checking it as often as they should. Um, and he has now sent another photograph funny this evening this afternoon <coughs> showing me another build of leaves on the sun. <coughs> so it's something that perhaps would ought to be addressed, but as I say, at the end of the day it's a central responsibility, but you might like to learn a bit more. Oh, well. It is a special responsibility, and I realise that. Um, I have spoken to Mr. Rippon just now, and he said it's not just the sun. He said what happens is there's some some drain um, just at the end of the field that's blocking up as well, and uh, once that's blocked up, okay. But I mean, if we we can't just leave it to highways. I mean, surely. I mean, we can't just let the centre of Wedmore flood. I mean, because there's leaves on the on the drain. I mean, surely. We must be able to do something. I have spoken to um, uh, Will Jackson, who does our grass cutting and edge cutting today. He's quite happy to take on a, an inspection of these various places. He knows Wedmore fairly well. He knows the places which are like the flood. And he'll keep an eye on the drains. And the fact uh, that our, his Lawrence Smith, who used to look after the toilets, he used to do it on a fairly regular basis during the winter as well. And he gullies and things clear. But that's something that Will could take on. And we, we did allow him the budget, I think, for, for some extra maintenance work on, on that sort of scheme. And say, although it's not our responsibility, I think we've got a duty to the parish to make sure we don't flood unnecessarily. But I think Will be quite a bit safe on. Um, you know, if it was necessary to do that, could we build the central for it? Mm. We tried this before. Like, uh, no, no. Uh, I tried it last year, but it's nothing. Like mm. yeah, yeah. I think, I think, Larry, you need to be careful to start filling safe work because they'll ask you what you're doing. Mm. You're so you're cleaning up the grades, yeah. and then they think what like, you're doing it. You you're yeah. you're cheap. responsible. You're right? cheaper than most. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they'll they end up losing it hmm. in their paperwork and we'll end up having to do it. Yeah. So it's a parish responsibility, I think, for most of the parish objective, I suppose. Well, I just think we have to be a little bit proactive mm-hmm. and, you know, let's do what we can ourselves. And, it's, you know. it's basically only the, wind, the autumn months of the leaves. Yes, yes, yes. And then we'll take what's a month from the summer just out. Yeah. I mean, it could be worth putting something in the other web on news mm-hmm. to ask 
Yeah. Um, if they could make sure that the job is near there. I just really don't want to go around the road and running a team of volunteers because that's got to be managed. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's any manager. I don't think it's like running a team of volunteers on a Saturday morning. I think we should ask Will. Yeah. Will. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Okay, and to receive an update on the refurbishment of the public toilets. Well, not much for a at the moment. I <coughs> do write to one of the tuckers, the builders, and asked uh, if he might do a quote for this job, send him a spec, but I've had nothing back. That's uh, jo um, Johnny, no, David Tucker. David Tucker. Uh, I'm trying to get hold of Neil now, who's working on the scout hut, and uh, I sent the other one in. Just a report our new toilet cleaner has taken over, and uh, seems to be very happy with his work, and seems to do quite a good job on it. Right. Down there. You'll see there's two checks, one for the yeah. outgoing one and one for the, for the new one, so I'll explain. Um, but there's nothing much else to report on the time check. Okay, that. thank you. Uh, 14, 12, 13. Oh, this is really good news. No, it doesn't work. It, it's uh, it's uh, from the 1st of January, all first class, we've got a 2.2% increase fixed for two years. Yes. I think we're going to say £5 a half a year for me. It's um, more, <laughs> <laughs> It's, I really, I think the calculation day is really not going to make that much difference yeah. to me or to the council, but there we go. It's very welcome. Okay. <laughs> 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 That's not, sorry. 14, 12, 14. Issues and questions raised by council. Yes. Yes. Then, oh, on, yes. Oh, well, only a uh, relative to the police, you know, police liaison as well. Um, they're looking for people to sit on the Independent Residents Volunteer Panel, which deals with reviews of complaint files against the police and the governments of the police and crime commissioner. And uh, if anyone would be interested in applying for that, I can give them the link to the website. Okay. Or if they know anyone else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Neil, have you got anything you want to ask? No. 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 Pete, have you got anything? Sorry. Anything to raise at the meeting? Any questions, comments? No, 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 no other thing? than reiterating what Rob said about the camera. <coughs> being either be a man or take it even further. We may, we, it does take up room from the public gallery. Excellent. Um, I don't know what you could do about that, but it, yeah. you know, it's still, it's, yeah. We'll pass the comments on to Mr. Ripley. <coughs> okay, thanks. Someone puts over one of the legs. Who's liable? Well, that's my point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perhaps in the next pre we should vote it to make the room bigger. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
probably put in likes and all that stuff. They might, you know, might need planning, and it would help them. But they wouldn't have to raise so much money then. You know, that's that is the trouble <coughs> raising the money. Can I ask, is there an architect or an agent involved in this, or, or not? They just asked me, ask you that stuff. They are, they are going, they're going to do it. They're going through, um, not Ford's. Who's the other one? There's two tarmac companies they're going to ask to come and look at it to start with before they get, yeah, yeah before they get too deep into it. But that's, mm -hmm. that's how they want to go at it. I mean, we can't actually make a decision on it. No, no, no. 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 They just we want can put it on the agenda yeah. for the January yeah. meeting. Yeah, yeah. Just to remind me, who owns the village hall? Blackford owns the village hall. Blackford. The village. Manage. No. It belongs to the village. It's a yeah. um, management committee. Yeah. Yes, yeah, which is owned by the whole village as a whole. What they bought it or? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Have they? Have they? Wasn't ownership of the road in question? Yes. This is um, David Huxford. It's a what was it called? Rup. Yes, a rup. Yeah. Uh, when, I, when we spoke to Highways about it, they stated that if we did anything to the road. That was our road, we'd have to look after it, mm -hmm. full stop. Mm -hmm. yeah. Spoke with David, between Richard and Rob, they had an email somewhere that he says, says well, um, Somerset says that we can do the road and it won't be our responsibility afterwards. Because the road needs doing, because it's deep potholes. Yeah, yeah. If you walk up, it's mm -hmm. dangerous, isn't it, Pete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we thought, if we're going to do the car park and make that nice, we just will do the lane as well. And that's uh, sorry. Do you think you'd be able to get donations from the old yeah. school and from the farm? Yeah. Or is that like... Um, it's like pulling teeth yeah. out. Okay. Yeah. Um, we have had money from uh, Hugh Sexy's Trust, yeah. the school trust, that does the education for the kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They donated us you know, that thousand fifty pounds pound off that tonight after the last couple of years. Um, we are trying Brute Mistake to see if I think they might come up with some. But that was all I had mm. to ask. Yeah. So, um, you know, if, you just, if you decide not to, then that's fine. That just means we've got to try and raise some more money yeah. somewhere down the line. Yeah. Mm. Well, not yeah. 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 Uh, no, Chair. Mm -hmm. uh, correspondence. Mm -hmm. So let's hold the table and have a Chair. Um, I've just, just one letter I've had in this afternoon. There's a letter of resignation from uh, Rob Puddy, uh, who wishes to stand down for personal reasons. Um, I'll have to tell Sedge more, but I should imagine we'll run one short now until the election. Yeah, yeah, yeah. November the 7th was the, the witching point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anything else on the correspondence? Just, um, yeah, uh, Kay and Rod. Yeah. Complaint through parking and went more again. This is a lady who lives in Coombat Rise. Uh, I spoke to her on the telephone, very nice lady. Yeah. Just concerned generally about cars parking on the pavements and uh, people parking all the day <coughs> while they're working in the village rather than using the public, public car park. Not I, necessarily in Coombat Rise, but no, generally. Well, more generally. And I have, I've said a couple of Andy Nash and Highways. <coughs> And I have spoken on the phone, explained the situation. He's very, very happy with that. Um, she just felt a bit sort of peeved that day. She couldn't park a car anywhere in the village while she popped in the post office. Understandable. Mm -hmm. um, I said, if yellow lines are the only real answer, and you know, there would be so much opposition to that, and it's a bit as well. But she's very happy with that. Mm -hmm. Anything else on correspondence? Mm -hmm. Committee reports? Nothing to report that in general. Facilities, allotments, and footpaths. No, I've got my footpaths. Um, there is a two-day post for a kind of footpath based on the council access at the bit, which is quite a well-used footpath. Right. Okay. Can we get our new lady, Kerry? Karen. Karen to. Have a review about it. Yeah. She lives in the field, yeah. and she'll speak to. That way, it keeps 
the answer. It comes from the. Yeah, a bit of Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I'll see how she gets on. This is a new role. She didn't take it over a month ago. Ah, well, she does it. She does it, yeah. Well, yeah. And we'll see how she gets on. And then, if not, we'll have a go. Yeah, right. Thanks, then. Okay, finance and general purposes. I think we've discussed finance tonight. Housing, I think we've done housing. Highways, car park and brook. Planning. I was planning to go on meeting the 7th of January, 1st of January. Wow, we've got two in already. Already. Okay, uh, report from the recommendations and recommendations from the Council. Yeah, yeah. 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 Attended the county management committee last Friday. Uh, the subscription is going to rise by one and a half percent because that's the formula we always do. You know what I mean? We, some of us didn't want it to be raised, but we have this new uh, chief executive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, he isn't. He isn't. As a matter of fact, the whole salary is quite reasonable for the two in the office. I was shocked when I asked the figures. <laughs> And um, they, several of them had seen that thing, you know, on the thing, and they thought we were behaving absolutely immaculate. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was quite chuffed. Um, and there's going to be, they want the email addresses because Rod is all right because he will pass them on to them. But when the new councillors come in, they want all their email addresses so they can email them with all the conferences they're going to arrange for training. Mm. <coughs> you know, so if any new ones come on or you want to go, you'll all have them if they got their email address. You know, so it saves you yeah. doing it, Rob. Yeah. Um, that's, that's about the main part of it. Okay. Then uh, Sedgemore and North, as they call it, meeting will be at, at the end of January. We don't, it will add into the village hall, but I can't tell you the date at the moment. So anybody would like to come, I will be going. And Simon will be going as well, because Simon's on it for the clerks. Mm. Right. Mm. Thank you, Jess. Mm. Anything on um, Wedmore Playing Fields Management? I think the next meeting's early in February. Yeah. 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 Village halls? Wedmore? No, not really. No, it's on Blackford. Not really, Madam Chairman, other than to say that we've got a kind of a new booking truck now for the whole of the book. So okay. it's um, been done online. Who's booking truck? Who is it? Phil Butterworth. Alright, thanks. Yeah. Um, Madam Chairman, the report on Isaac Hill Park and Brook. Yeah. Yeah. Can we bring up about the state of Blackford Road going out through there? I mean, it's getting worse and worse and worse. I mean, I travel it now quite regular. And the potholes at the side, I mean, they're going to have to put curbing stones along a lot of these roads, whether they like it or no. It's the only way you're going to stop these edges of the roads being damaged. Yeah. I mean, all the roads in Wetmore are a disgrace, but at that one, I'm really getting annoyed about it. I don't go along there. Okay. Anything else? The next meeting is? Edward? Yeah. No. 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 No.